the first per attempts handicap hurdle qualifying will kick off day three. At the top, we've got Jane Burden for Martin Liam. Icon Dream, Matt Cooper, Philomena, Paul Rhodes, Miss Blandish, Kevin Meenham, Bright Star, Obi-Wan, Tessa Sanderson, Paul Rhodes, Supreme Court, Obi-Wan, Cutter Chaos, or Darren Thompson, Aspectus Nardis, and Palawi Buckle for Thomas Rogers, Keystroke, Alex Cherry, Kingsdale Grounds, David Robertson, Lord Blaze, Padraig Hogan has also got Walton Mountain, Princess Alex Cooper, and Winker Watson, Matt Cooper. I still said yesterday, a little bit more time at the front of the races, please, chaps, and away we go. And Jane Burden is the first one to show. It's a short one to the first, so they skip over nicely. And at the back, Keystroke early on, sir. So what a horrid. Starts to day three as we get into flight number two, and then all safely over that one. Wolverton Mountain has now come through to take it up. This is the first per attempts qualifier final at Cheltenham. Cheltenham Festival week, but they're only about three or four qualifiers, so it's a good opportunity for somebody to get a festival win up. They get over number three, and then all safely over that one. And Wolverton Mountain is the leader by about a length to Bright Star in second. Rest of the field are really nicely grouped. And towards the back, Lord Blaze is just the back marker. No problem with the silks with this. We know they're both Padre Hogan's because Satyam is a flat only trainer. So Walton Mountain in the lead then by about two lengths to Bright Star in second. A similar distance back to the third place also is Kingsdale Grounds in the turquoise and maroon hoops. David Robertson just tucked in behind that one. Cata Chaos. Tessa Sanderson in one of Paul Rhodes' new set of colours with the yellow sleeves and the red hat. He's after that one. And they're racing uphill now towards flight four. Which they all get over nicely. Walton Mountain continuing to lead. Bright Star second. Cata Chaos and Kingsdale run share third as they take the fifth, which comes up very quickly. And a good jump there by Cutter Chaos is that will move into a clear third as they continue the uphill climb. Uh, Warburton Mountain will take them over the sixth. All safely over that one. Padraig Hogan top and tail in the field at this point. As the ground levels out there and they pass the big screen. Uh, pass the wind post and out for a complete circuit off the track. Wolverton Mountain, who's got a four length lead now to Cat Chaos in second. Tessa Sanderson wide on the track is third. Quite a few of these are still running quite oh, wide, they're about eight wide, some of them, which is a little bit surprising. Wolverton Mountain is on the fence and in the lead. At the seventh flight. So they all skip over nicely to Wolverton Mountain. Cat Chaos is second. Aspectus Nardis has now moved through into third in those. Green colours as they get over that next one. Good jump there by Princess, who now goes up into second on the outside of Cata Chaos. Tassus Anderson is still there as well. So, two Kings now grounds are three that are really wide on the track. Kevin Minan's Miss Blandish, and then Philomena, and also Icon Dream. They're quite wide. They've got less than a mile and a half still to go. And Walton Mountain is in front. Cutter Chaos in second, Prince Ends in third, then Kingsdale Grounds is fourth, Bright Star on the inside is fifth, with the Spectus Nardis on its outside. Tessa Sanderson just lost her place a little bit. Palawi Buckle getting a little bit closer. So too is Miss Blandish and Keystroke. Jane Burden, the top weight getting the first mention. The Icon Dream and Philomena, then Winker Watson, and finally Lord Blaze, as you can see, they take that pretty steep hill. Continues to rise as they come towards the final mile. It just levels out a little bit. And they'll start to travel downhill for a short while before uphill again to the finish. And it's Warburton Mountain who's going to skip over the ninth, still in the lead, but being chased hard now by Cata Chaos and Kingsdale Grounds. Aspectus Nardis going well in fourth. Bright Star still there in fifth on the inside is Princess as they skip over number 10. And Tessa Sanderson's after that one. There's nothing really out of this yet. Leader, Wolverton Mountain has been in the lead all the way. Cata Chaos is now getting perilously close to taking that lead off him as they come to flight 11. Cata Chaos looms on the outside and does indeed take it up momentarily, but 
Wolverton Mountain fights back and regains the lead. It's Wolverton Mountain, Casa Chaos, Kingsdale Grounds, Princess. Uh, and then Bright Star and the Spectus Nardis, that's the leading group. Tessa Sanderson, Miss Blandish and Supreme Court trying to tag on at the back of it. Philomena trying to run on, you can probably forget the rest of them. Although Lord Blaze is starting to make a bit of a run through. And it's Wolverton Mountain, who's still got the lead. By a length to Princess in second. There's three more flights to take, and there's three and a half furlongs to race. Kingsdown Grounds is in third. Then Aspectus Nardis. Katakaos has just lost his place and is dropping back a little bit. The two Obi Wan horses trying to run on as they pass the three furlong pole then now, and it's Wolverton Mountain by about a length and a half to Princess in second. Kingsdown Grounds. This is the third last, and a good jump by Wolverton Mountain continues to lead. Princess in second. Kingsdown Grounds in third. Aspectus Nardis fourth. Over the second. It's all oh, a crashing fall there. For Princess, Princess has gone, and Water Mountain's in the lead. Water Mountain from Kingsdale Grounds, he's been in the lead all the way. Water Mountain, he comes down towards the final flight. Then there, comes up to it, pops over it nicely. But a better jump by Kingsdale Grounds on the outside. Kingsdale Grounds is trying to fight for the lead, but Water Mountain is having none of it. And Water Mountain is hanging on, and Water Mountain is actually pulling away again at the line. And up towards the line, it's Water Mountain takes it. Kingsdale Grounds is second. Tessa Sanderson went on to be third. Cats of Chaos got a second wind as well. And well, a few of those horses never got into that race at all. Bumble to Mountain really dominated it and took it cosily really. Kingsdale Grounds couldn't get any closer and nothing had got any pace coming out of the pack at all. So Walter Mountain takes it for Patrick Hogan, Kingstown Grounds for David Robertson second, Tessa Sanderson for Paul Rhodes third, Aspectus Nardis for Thomas Rogers fourth, and Catacaos for Darren Thompson was fifth.